Well, tonight, Katanji Brown Jackson is the first black woman to serve on the United States Supreme Court. The newest associate justice took the judicial oath on the final day of a blockbuster term. Eyewitness News anchor Siapa Lewis is in the newsroom with more on a historic day. Siapa, good evening. Good, good evening, Yugi. Yes, it was. History was once again made at the Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. on Thursday, though what transpired is of a much different significance than the court's controversial rulings during this term. I, Ketanji Brown Jackson, do. Ketanji Brown Jackson was sworn in as the 116th Supreme Court Justice in U.S. history. She is the very first African American woman to sit on the nation's highest court. So help me God. We spoke to local scholar Dr. Donna Patterson, the professor and chair of the Department of History, Political Science, and Philosophy, and director of Africana Studies at Delaware State University about how Brown Jackson might impact the court. She will change, I think, the way some people view the court. I think the representation will certainly change, and maybe some of the conversations will change. Philosophically, Judge Brown Jackson replaces her mentor, Justice Stephen Breyer. Both serve as the third liberal on a 6-3 majority conservative court, which has flexed its muscle in numerous controversial decisions this term. Now, while her presence won't change the court's makeup, she is likely to make an impact just the same. It will have some impact, yes, but I don't know if it will have the impact that people intended when she was nominated, giving the dynamics of this 6-3 majority. The religious makeup of the current court's judges has been brought up often in how they've ruled this term. There are six Catholics, a seventh if you include Judge Neil Gorsuch, who grew up in the Catholic Church, one Jewish judge, and Brown Jackson, a Protestant. Could that make a difference? From what we've seen, I think particularly with some of the recent decisions, it appears that faith uh, is definitely playing. It's definitely having some influence. And in these extremely divisive times, I asked Dr. Patterson what Judge Brown Jackson's seat on the court says about America. I think that it is good that we finally have a black woman Supreme Court justice. And so it appears that we're moving the needle in that way. The Supreme Court's next term will begin on October 3rd of this year when they'll hear cases including ones dealing with more hot button issues like affirmative action, gay rights, and election law. In the newsroom, Siafa Lewis, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Yuki. Siafa, thank you for that.